ever wonder how big an asteroid would have to be to wipe out life on the planet? Turns out, about 60 miles wide, give or take. Scientists have been looking at potential asteroid impacts for years. University of Colorado geoscientist Brian Toon figures one rock about a half a mile wide can do a lot of damage and cause widespread earthquakes, releasing the energy equal to 100 billion tons of TNT. But even that wouldn't be completely catastrophic. Scientists think the object that killed the dinosaurs was about seven to eight miles wide sending a dust plume so big it engulfed the planet, igniting fires, and basically broiling the dinosaurs. A similar collision today would likely kill billions of people, most of the animals, and all the vegetation. It's possible a few people could survive, but they would have a hard time finding food. Dr. Richard Binzel, a professor of planetary sciences at MIT, says even though it's possible this could happen someday, there are no asteroids big enough in any orbit that can completely destroy Earth. With that said, what would happen if a smaller asteroid, let's say one the size of a house, crashed into Earth at 30,000 miles per hour? Experts say it would flatten concrete buildings up to a half mile from where it hit. Make that asteroid the size of a 20-story building, it would flatten all the buildings within five miles. The next near-Earth asteroid will make its closest approach on October 26, 2028. The asteroid's path is predicted to pass beyond the Moon's distance from the Earth. In fact, it will still be about two and a half times farther than the Moon. It measures a mile wide and is traveling at 30,000 miles per hour. If it did strike New York City, the force would flatten everything from DC to Boston. But not to worry, NASA says it will have zero impact on Earth. To help keep us all safe from any possible future asteroids, NASA is developing an asteroid redirect program. It's a first-of-its-kind mission for a spacecraft to land on a large asteroid, grab a huge boulder from its surface for further study, and then redirect the asteroid into a stable orbit around the Moon. This mission is set to launch by 2020. Keeping an eye on space, this is Inside Science TV. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.